Uploading files into Moodle There are two ways of adding documents such as presentations or word processed files to your course. One way is dragging and dropping them straight onto the course page as we've seen in an earlier video. If you can't use drag and drop, this method uses Moodle's Activity Chooser and File Picker. To upload files this way, we need to turn on the editing either by clicking the Turn Editing On button or by scrolling down to the Administration block and clicking the Turn Editing On link. Then, in the section where we'd like to upload the document, we click the link Add an Activity or Resource. This brings us to the Activity Chooser and we scroll down to Resources. A document is a resource and we're going to add a file, so we click the File button. We can click it once and then click Add at the bottom or we simply click twice to go straight to the setup screen. The name is important because the name is what the students will see on the page when accessing it. The description is also important. You may or may not want or need to have a description, but if you want this description displayed on the course page, tick the box Display Description on Course Page. Then we arrive at the File Manager. And again, if your browser allows, it's possible just to drag the file straight into this box here. But we are going to click Add, and this takes us to Moodle's File Picker, which we will explore in another video. We just want to upload a document, so let's ignore for now the other links. We can choose or browse for our file, and then click to find the file that we want. We can change its name if we want to, we don't have to. We can change the author name, choose a license if we're not happy with the default license and then click to upload the file. It's worth exploring some of the other settings such as in appearance. We can, for example here, display the size of our document, useful if your students have poor internet connections. And we can also display when it was uploaded. So let's do that. If we now save and return to course, we can see our file displayed on the page with its upload date. And note too that like our presentation file above it, it has a useful icon which also shows students what type of file it is.